Hello everyone, welcome to another installment of Girl Talk where we discuss things that can genuinely help you with your journeys. Now, today we're going to be talking about setting boundaries. Now, I actually discussed this on my Twitter, on my Instagram, and also on a new app that I have discovered called Quilt. Now, you guys should definitely download Quilt. It is linked down below in my description and or the pinned comment. You guys are genuinely going to enjoy it because it freely allows you to discuss everything that is going on with you without being censored so much like other social media apps and I'm going to be on there pretty much so daily talking about different topics that I feel like are not touched on as much it is audio based so you don't have to like show your face or anything like that and it's a lot less abrasive and a lot less much work than other social media apps and it just allows you to freely express yourself and there's lots of different communities on there I guarantee you you guys are going to enjoy being on quilt as much as I do I'm like high-key addicted so so definitely join me on there. So without further ado, let's get into the video. When it comes to boundaries, let's be real. A lot of us, we don't got no damn boundaries. That's why you clicked on this video because you want to know how to set boundaries so people can start respecting you, okay? So people can put some respect on your name because people, they call you whenever they want because they think that you're a personal therapist. They show up to your house whenever they want because they genuinely don't give a shit how you feel. They borrow money from you without repaying it back they talk to you however they want they call you into work whenever they feel like it they show up to your meetings one two hours late they cheat on you whenever they feel like it they treat you like their own personal doormat does all of this feel familiar I bet it does I understand a lot of people are gonna say I have anxiety I have some other type of mental health illness that prevents me from being confident enough to confront people but understand regardless of whatever issues you may have have that makes it hard for you to confront people or set boundaries or be able to tell people straight up like listen do not treat me this way you have to find a way to overcome this if you're an adult it is your responsibility to get help okay it is your responsibility to get therapy get on medication do a lifestyle change whatever it is if you're a little bit younger clearly you don't have that many options but if you're an adult you have to find a way you cannot use your mental health illness as a crutch period if no one's ever told you that I'm, I'm here to tell you that it's mental health awareness month and I'm telling you this today we cannot keep doing this we cannot keep saying oh I have anxiety I'm gonna sleep all day we can't do it you could do it for a couple days shit maybe even a couple weeks but you can't do it to the point where you're like oh well I'm not gonna do this I'm not gonna do that for the rest of my life you have to get to a point where you're like you know what I'm gonna do this I'm gonna stand up I'm going to do something for me that is positive that's gonna help me get out of this anxiety that I'm feeling just depression this personality disorder whatever the case may be because you have to be able to have that skill you have to be able to be like ayo I'm not going through this I'm gonna be able to confront people I'm gonna be able to set up these boundaries because it's essential for work school relationships friendships it's very essential to be able to be like yo do not treat me this way it's very essential it's very essential to adhere to these boundaries you will have to actually take these shit seriously or else other people are not gonna take you seriously people have to be able to respect you you. if people do not respect you or those boundaries there's no point of even setting the boundaries yeah it sounds fucked up but if I don't say it who's gonna say it nobody else gonna say it when it comes to setting boundaries I believe it's probably the hardest thing anyone is going to have to do in their life mainly because this is something and a life skill that absolutely no one learns to do it's something that you kind of end up having to do when things get way too hard people spend so much time teaching kids how to share their cookies and how to be nice to one another which Honestly, yes, that's great qualities. Whoop de doo. Kids should learn these things. But what's very important is life skills like saving, budgeting, learning how to not let people treat you like a doormat, self confidence, self love, self respect. And part of all of those things is building boundaries and putting those boundaries in forth so people do respect you. And a lot of people do learn these things when it's too late. So setting boundaries is also one of those things where when you put Put forth those boundaries it's very difficult to not only adhere to those boundaries but it's difficult for people to actually respect them the first time it's something that you're gonna have to keep reminding people about because when you first do it not only are people 
gonna not take you seriously but you're gonna have to keep instilling it and adhering to it for people to actually take it seriously so first things first what is a boundary a boundary is essentially something that you put forth and it's kind of like an invisible line that people are not able to cross in terms of making you feel uncomfortable it is a rule set forth that you put in your life for others and sometimes for yourself to adhere to in regards to how they treat you so in many cases you have this in relationships in friendships in work in school honestly throughout your life and this is literally the basis for how other people treat you and the whole overall essence I want people to understand from this video overall is how you treat yourself is how other people are going to treat you and that's the whole overall point that I want to get across to you in this video if you keep allowing people to treat you some type of way if you keep allowing people to disrespect you they're going to continue to do it not necessarily because people ain't shit because honestly let's be real a lot of people ain't shit and that is the the overall answer that a lot of people are going to want to come to terms with by watching this video or come to terms with in general when people treat you like trash but also because you're allowing that door what you allow is what will continue I'm sure a lot of us have heard that we are all human at the end of the day if you continuously allow someone to keep doing something to you you have given them that access you have opened the door right if you leave a door open what is going to stop person from going through that door if you continuously allow someone to borrow money from you you automatically look like the bank so what are they gonna do continuously borrow money from you if you allow someone to continuously cheat on you what are you gonna do continuously cheat on you if you allow someone to continuously curse you out what are you gonna do curse you out now you're probably thinking okay but as a person that is my friend as a person that is a family member as someone that is my coworker, or whatever the case may be they should be a good person and they should know as a person that loves me or cares about me they should know they shouldn't do this because they love me they care about me whatever the case may be but understand we are still human at the end of the day and what you allow is what will continue because you're allowing that to happen and it is a matter of convenience if it is more convenient for someone to walk through the door more convenient for someone to lash out on you because it is convenient and open if it's more convenient for someone to cheat on you because you are allowing it and there's no repercussions for that action they're going to continuously do it so what you need to do is set those boundaries in place you cannot let people treat you like a doormat because you're not a doormat you deserve better and not only that you know better people make so many excuses as to why they let people treat them like trash and I'm fucking tired of it okay this whole thing of oh well that's not necessarily true I respect myself I love myself and people still treat me like trash absolutely not true because you can love yourself all you want you can say you love yourself all you want but the essence of loving yourself and respecting yourself does not include other people treating you like garbage because when you love yourself and when you respect yourself a hundred percent people will probably only treat you like trash once you know why because you rectify that behavior once and they never do that shit again when you put your foot down you set that boundary and you let those people know they will never do it again they will never do it again because they understand oh shit okay this person needs business all right okay when i do this this person is going to do this and i'm not going to do that because i know not to mess with that person we all know those people in our lives where every single time something happens no one bothers them we know those people that okay they know this person cannot be called they know not to show up to that person's house they know not to borrow money from this person because this person means business you want to be like that person because people know that person means what they say and they do something about something when people cross that boundary more than likely if people are consistently this is the key word here consistently disrespecting you they don't respect you the key word here is respect people are people and people are going to do what people do understand that the key word here is when people do things you have to put that boundary adhere to that boundary and let people know there's repercussions for not adhering to that boundary so let's just get into a few right so let's get into relationships because I feel like a lot of people can definitely relate to that and this is a main one that a lot of people do not know how to basically adhere to when it comes to boundaries if you're in a relationship with someone and they cheat on you the best bet is to leave absolutely no doubt about it absolutely no and ifs or buts it is absolutely stupid on every front to let someone cheat on you and stay with them I don't give a shit if you're married I don't give a shit if you're not married I don't 
don't give a shit how long you've been with this person. You know why? Because you send out the message to the person who has cheated on you when you stay with them that, okay, I can not only cheat on this person, but when I cheat on this person, they're not gonna do shit about it. So that means I can get away with cheating again and again and again. So what's gonna happen? They're gonna keep cheating. Now, a lot of you guys who are probably not gonna agree with this, you're probably gonna be like, okay, well, my husband, my wife, whatever has cheated on me and they never cheated again. I guarantee you, not only was this not the first time that they cheated, they probably cheated before, not only in another form, but they're probably cheating again. They're probably gonna think about cheating again, or they're probably in one of those states where they probably just genuinely do not respect you. And even if whatever the case may be, you did bounce back from that, the only way to bounce back from something like that is to go to legitimate therapy. And that's a whole nother conversation because a lot of people refuse to go to therapy. They refuse to go to relationship counseling. So let's just be real here. Unless you went to legitimate counseling and relationship therapy, there's absolutely no way you're telling me you bounce back from that and that person is not either taking you for a joke or cheating on you again because you already set the message out there that when this person cheats on me I'm going to take them back and if you do for whatever reason take that person back you have to let that person know there are repercussions for cheating on me I am not gonna take you back just like that you gotta leave you have to make a statement you have to tell the person this is wrong I am hurt you do not cheat on me this is bad you don't just oh my god I hate you I'm mad and throw some damn dishes around and all of a sudden you back together and you sleep with them the same day and say I forgive you no you gotta actually be about that do some action actually be about something you can't just get back with people after they betray you because again you're sending the wrong message to that person especially ladies when it comes to men men are gonna treat you like trash if you sit there and let them constantly cheat on you and then of course it just leaks out into the street because we all know men run their mouth more than women okay they're gonna tell their boys they're gonna tell their family and all of a sudden it goes out into the street like yeah this girl she lets people cheat on her and then she gets back with them trust me been there done that do not do that do not make the mistake of letting people cheat on you and getting back with them absolutely with no repercussions no counseling no marriage therapy no couples therapy i'm telling you you're making the biggest mistake of your life you are not a doormat you are better than that the next one and biggest one especially would be friendships a lot of us have horrible boundaries when it comes to friendships okay a lot of us have friends that have one-way friendships with us they're always coming to us with their issues but we can never come to them with our issues and every single time we come to them with their issues it flips right back to them we have to put that boundary in place that hey I need to talk to you about something as a friend and every single time I come to you you never let me talk this is an issue you know if that person does not change that, you stop talking to them. You know why? Because that's a very shitty quality to have in a friend and that person is not a friend. If that person does not give a fuck about you enough to even listen when you have a problem, that's not a good friend. If you have a friend that is sitting there talking about some, oh, I'm gonna come to your house and you literally, you're watching Netflix and that's your form of self-care, you're taking a bath and that's your form of self-care, you're doing a facial, that's your form of self-care, tell them you can't come over. I prefer to be alone. Stop letting people up and your house at any given time but yeah stop giving people your address not everybody has my address i'll tell you that much it took a long time to set up those boundaries but we're gonna get into that a little bit later stop giving people your address stop letting people pop up to your house any given time and if they do pop up to your house you know what you gotta do not open the door yeah is that mean absolutely but your peace is absolutely way more important than sitting here adhering to other people's boundaries who the hell told you in life that you had to make other people happy at the expense of your own peace peace and your own happiness and your own mental health. Understand, if you do not want people in your house, they don't have to be in your house. If you do not want people to disturb your peace, protect your peace and do not open the door. You know why? Because they did not have a personal invitation. I don't give a shit what anyone else has to think about it. And if your friends are really your friends, they wouldn't be doing that anyway, especially if you told them you do not want to be disturbed. And that brings me to my next one. Stop answering the phone when you don't want to be bothered. If it's not an emergency, it could be a text message, it could be an email, don't answer the phone. Jesus Christ. Stop answering the phone, y'all. Stop answering the phone. Can I say it again? Stop answering the phone. I can tell you how many people I know literally complain to me about phone calls. I used to be one of those people. And this is because I have a savior complex, right? I have this thing where I feel like I have to be there for everyone. I have to fix everything. I'm literally that person. I had to literally start putting my phone on do not disturb. And everybody that knows me knows I do not pick up phone calls. I call you, you will not call me. And if somehow, some way you call me and I pick up the phone, that's because I really have nothing to do or I'm just in a very, very good mood because I do not 
pick up phone calls because at the end of the day, I have to protect my peace. Your peace needs to be more important than anything and anyone ever in this world. There's very rare people that I pick up the phone with and there's literally five people that I pick up the phone for no matter what. And that's because I know that they don't bother the fuck out of me for no reason. That's my man and four of my best friends. They don't ever call me for nothing else. Like they rarely ever call my phone and they know to call at appropriate times. I cannot deal. I cannot deal with people just calling my phone. If you know that you have friends that literally be calling you to talk about that same ain't shit man, that same ain't shit girl, that same ain't shit job, that same ain't shit school that they don't want to be in, that same ain't shit this, that, and the third, stop picking up the phone because you know any advice that you give them, they're not going to listen to anyway. Why are you wasting your time? Stop wasting your time with mundane people, giving them mundane advice that they're not going to listen to. If you really want to be friends with these people and you really want to sit there and keep wasting your time giving them mundane advice that they're not going to listen to anyway, dedicate a specific hour to wasting your time talking to these people about shit that don't make no sense. But please, for the life of me, do not sit there wasting your time picking up the phone any time of the day, any time of the night, and then complain about it because you have no one to blame for that but yourself. We have to start taking accountability for what we allow into our lives and start setting those boundaries. Do not disturb is going to be your new best friend. I guarantee you, thank me later. When it comes to work, Jesus Christ, this is the big one. We all have had those jobs where you say yes once, all of a sudden you are the scapegoat. Can you come to work today? Um, We need somebody to fill in for blah, blah, blah. They just called out. Oh, can you, do you mind coming to say, do you mind staying for work for a couple hours? We'll pay you double. Oh, well, do you mind um, changing your days around? We need someone to work weekends. Oh, do you mind like not taking vacation this month? You should take it next month. We need people for this specific shift. Protect your peace and put those boundaries in line and tell those people you will not be doing anything that is not in your contract. You will not be doing anything that is not your job. You will not be doing any hours that is not outside of what you're supposed to do because that is not your job. If you can, you will because you want to. You will not be obligated, bullied, pressured, or coerced into doing shit that's not your job. Start putting boundaries between you and your job. I understand it's hard to say no because not only do you need the money but you rely on these jobs, but you also need to start telling these jobs and letting these jobs know that they not about to be out here telling you what you have to do, what you should do, and whatever. No, 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 no. First of all, start getting jobs with unions, okay? That's another thing. And second of all, start working for people that look like you. And third of all, stop getting these damn jobs that literally disrespect you from day one and you stay there and think it's gonna get better. Cause it's not. I guarantee you, it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse. Be comfortable with the idea of investing. Start getting comfortable with the idea of getting second flows of income. Start getting comfortable with the idea that not any job is foolproof. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a social media person, a janitor, working at Amazon. So that whole idea of, oh, well, I rely on this job. At the end of the day, you could get fired at any given moment. So that's inept. Protect your peace and put those boundaries in place. Let those people know, I cannot, I'm tired. That is not my job, okay? That is not my job. I am not doing it because you are going to get burnt out real quick. And nothing's worse than going to a job that you hate and then doing extra hours and extra days and not taking vacations and, and doing jobs that's not your job. Like for what? No, 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 no. That's what we're not doing ever. We're not doing that. Stop doing things for people, especially when they wouldn't do it for you. And then on top of that, you could be replaced right now. They could fire you with no notice. So stop sitting here doing the most for these jobs and the most for these people, okay? When it comes to family, okay, this is another boundary that I feel like is extremely difficult for people to handle because blood is thicker than water. Another thing that they teach us from birth in order to manipulate the hell out of us. And um, I said what I said, I meant what I said, I'll say it again. Just because someone's your mom, your dad, your cousin, your sister, your uncle, whatever, does not necessarily mean they can manipulate you, right? Tell your family members stop borrowing money from you without paying it back or stop giving them the money. Tell them that they cannot call you any given time for a ride. Tell them that they cannot just disrespect people in your life, disrespect you, disrespect your significant others just because they do not like them. Tell them point blank period that they cannot disrespect you. Now you guys are probably just thinking, okay, well this is easier said than done. You know, you can't take your family to court. You can't take your friends to court. You know, you can't necessarily curse out your friends and family, your coworkers and da da da. I don't know who told you any of that. Yes, you can. You can do all of those things. The reason that you're saying all of this is because you think you can't because you feel like that's crossing a boundary and the reason you think that that's crossing a boundary is because those people that you're talking about and you're thinking about 
put those boundaries in place for you and you respect them enough not to do that but you don't respect yourself enough to put those boundaries in place for you but what you don't understand is for them to not cross that with you they put those boundaries in place for them that you won't cross you won't sue them you won't curse them out you won't put them in their place about how they treat you but they could treat you any type of way because you have absolutely no boundary you have absolutely nothing there to protect you so you guys are probably thinking okay well how do I set these boundaries when it comes to people coming to your house calling you any time of the night like you're a free therapist like I said do not disturb do not answer the phone and quite frankly just tell them straight up I will not be answering the phone past this time I will not be doing this I will not be doing that and quite frankly just don't do it do not answer the door and do not answer your phone calls they will get the message very very fast it took me years personally it took me probably three years to get people to understand I'm not picking up the phone I also used to change my number very very frequently so people got the message when they realized they wasn't getting my number you can hit me up on social media like everybody else and then eventually they just stop calling me I don't care um it sounds hard but quite frankly I had to protect my peace if you guys are not aware I have bipolar I have anxiety I have ADHD some PTSD in there so I'm very much so I be all over the place sometimes sometimes I'm mentally distressed I have a lot going on all the time I have to film I have a business I cannot deal with people just fucking hit me up talk about the ancient nigga that they done fucked over that then fucked them over done did this this that and the third all damn thing baguette tonfu bagai sayo so I'm like yeah y'all can't just be calling me all times of the night even my parents had to get the boot I call my parents they cannot call me because every time they call me they talking some gossip in the city shit and I'm like I don't want to hear this like I, I don't want to hear this right now like I'm gonna call y'all when I have time to gossip okay y'all need to understand if someone or people are like literally taking away from what you need to do in life you're gonna have to literally either prioritize them or cut them off you cannot just continuously make excuses and say oh well I can't do this because these people are that and this person is this and this person's holding me back you need to start taking action you need to say okay this is what's happening this is what I need to do about it and this is what I'm going to do about it when it comes to relationships it's not that difficult break up and I'm going to do a video about bossing up after a breakup if it's not already up I will um, probably link it down below when it's up or whatever the case may be just make sure you guys check the description box understand breakups are difficult it's probably actually one of the hardest things you will ever go through I've been through too many of them and each time it's probably been the hardest thing I ever went through but understand they happen they have to happen and most times breakups are for the better because a lot of times you don't need to be with these people no way a lot of people warned you about these people that you're with and a lot of the times these people are treating you like trash so I don't even understand why this conversation even needs to be a conversation when it comes to the breakup situation because a lot of people that you're with don't need to be with you okay you don't need to be with them and a lot of these times when you're in these relationships where people are treating you like shit and treating you like you have no boundaries and they probably have no boundaries and you could be the one treating them like shit it's just a bad relationship all around and the only answer is either to break up or to get there and those are two things a lot of people refuse to do so it's like you're gonna have to take one of the biggest routes okay going to therapy is a very very big decision for someone's relationship it really really is so if you really care to save the relationship and you truly love the person you really want to be in a successful relationship with that person I should just go into couples therapy if you really think that the relationship is bad for you just break it all and yeah it's hard but what's harder is not respecting yourself and not having boundaries for yourself and not loving yourself more to leave that relationship that you know is not good for you when it comes to family you might just have to move out your house another very hard thing to do but it's very much so possible I've seen people with damn minimum wage buy a damn house I've seen people with minimum wage get an apartment I've seen people with minimum wage live in a box nonetheless whatever your situation is if your household is really that bad and you're of age to move out and you're capable I suggest you leave because it's only going to get worse I've seen too many people end up in very 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 terrible situations because of their households I've known people to live on the street I've known people to literally end up in very dangerous situations because of their parents throwing them out on the street I do not want to see that happen to any of y'all it, it's very messed up so if you're in a situation where like you feel like you will end up getting kicked out because you know you put boundaries for whatever case may be I hope it never gets to that just leave while you can boundaries are very important and I guarantee you if you don't put boundaries down now it's going to get worse and this is because people don't like boundaries okay I'm just telling you this right now when you start putting boundaries down people are gonna get mad people are going to feel some type of way they're gonna be like oh who you think you are why are you not answering the phone you never pick up the phone oh why are you not answering the door oh I was here I see your car outside you was inside they're gonna get mad 
I'm not saying like people are gonna respect it 100% day one. They're not going to, right? They're gonna be upset. No one said this is easy. No one said people are gonna respect you like straight, straight out the wazoo. I'm saying it needs to be done for you. And that's all that matters, you. All these other people don't matter. All these other people are irrelevant. All these other people are like null and void to be quite honest with you. I only care about you, your boundaries, your life, your self-respect and how you feel about yourself. If you care so much about what other people think about you on a consistent regular basis, you're not gonna get anywhere in life. If you care so much about, oh, well, they're gonna be so mad at me if I don't answer the phone. They're gonna be so mad at me if I don't open the door. They're gonna be so mad at me if I don't answer their whole, you know, plea for advice on the ain't shit motherfucker that I don't wanna date them anymore, whatever. If you're gonna so mad about shit like that, you're never gonna get anywhere in life. That's with your career. That's with your love life. That's with your friendships. That's with your family. That's with everything. You're going to have to start making changes today if you wanna get anywhere in life. And that starts with boundaries. That starts with self-love. That starts with self-respect. That starts with all of that shit. That starts with just the inner work, period. You cannot skip any of this shit because all of that is the foundation. If you start skipping things, it all falls apart. It's kind of like Jenga. Is it Jenga, the shit with the blocks? Yeah, Jenga. You just skip shit, it all falls down. And you're gonna end up having to go there eventually. Trust me, I've been there and it wasn't fun. With that being said, comment down below. Have you ever had to put boundaries down? What happened when you put those boundaries down? Cause I know there's gonna be a lot of interesting stories about that because people are never happy when you start putting those boundaries down. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow my other channels and watch this video right here. Yeah, click it. Click it. Like, share, subscribe. Do all that. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Bye.